let's get into this shit. Episode four, man. I am uh, still trying to pick up pieces of my fucking mind. Holy shit. What an episode. Wow. I thought it was great. I thought it was fantastic. Dude, We so much got revealed, man. Uh, first off, we have a timeline now because people always said, when does this take place? I thought, okay, it's going to take place weeks or months after in-game, three weeks after in-game yep. officially. So I'm kind of curious, man. What the fuck happened to Wanda in three weeks? That's not that long of a time, dude. <laughs> You're right. It's not because she lost oh, the fucking love of her yeah. life, dude. She lost and vision. Not, yeah, hey, and, and not, not to, to mention, mention probably other friends too, like other family members or other heroes that she, I mean, the snap, remember? Other heroes yeah, but, were lost too, so she's fucking losing it, dude. Yeah, but but not to mention, man, Monica, I'll, I'll get to that in a minute, but she comes back to work three weeks later, then mm. she goes to Westview. It's already been going on for maybe a week, so it's probably been like a week or two after Endgame, not a full three weeks for Wanda, so it's like, I'm... uh Man, I'm I'm starting to wonder. Um, but we'll, we'll get to that. So, episode starts off with one of the greatest openings I've ever seen. Uh, I was completely mesmerized because of how horrifying it was of Monica Rambeau snapping back into existence after Bruce hospital. Banner's yeah after Bruce uh. Banner snapped his finger. Um, Monica snaps back and she's by bedside. And I thought, okay, what the fuck's going on? She's in a hospital. There's just pandemonium in the hallways because all these people are suddenly coming back. As of course it would, um, and uh, we learned that she was with her mom at the time she snapped away, and her mom is, her mom lived through the snap, and she has since mm-hmm. died, and that is just the most heartbreaking thing two, I've ever seen. Two or three years prior, she's died, right? Yeah, something like that. Monica snapped away. Two years later, her mom died. Right. So her mom died three years ago. Three years before WandaVision. So it's been Endgame. five years. Yeah. Since the snap, that's how long the snap took place five years. So, yeah, um, I, I thought it was a really great way to open the show. I was completely, completely blown away. I mean, it was just fantastic. It, it was just the, the special effects were incredible. The, the way they set the mood by the sheer because you think, OK, everybody's coming back to life when Bruce snaps his fingers. That's cool because all these people get to come back to life. But yeah. the chaos that ensues, like, could you imagine like a, you know, like a, I told my buddy this the other day, imagine Wall Street when Thanos snapped his finger, just all the chaos, all these people disappearing. And then imagine Wall Street again when all these people were coming back. It's like, dude, holy shit, you know? What so, would happen if, if you were on a flight, like up in the air and you got snapped think, away? And then if you could get snapped back, do you just appear in that plane, wherever that plane would be? Or do you appear in that location up in, up in the fucking air and just fall to your death? I mean, no, where, I think where would that Feige be? He said something about... Um, they would appear on the ground or something where hmm. the plane was like in the same location or something. Well, so I, what I if, they, know, what something if like it was that. over the ocean and like a transatlantic flight? That's a good point. Yeah. I don't know. I guess we'll just leave that up to imagination for now, unless they decide to address it. What if you but were it's... on the toilet taking a shit during the snap and then you come back and someone else yeah. moved into your house and they're on the toilet taking a shit and you appear. I mean, that would, that could be a little awkward. Sorry. What if you had sex? <laughs> Oh, ooh, oh, yeah. What if you're having sex with your wife or your girlfriend, whatever the fuck? And then, like, you get snapped away and then you come back five years later, three way. <laughs> your wife found somebody else. <laughs> exactly, dude. Exactly. Party I don't, I don't time. Know, there's so, there's so many ways this could be like yeah. just chaotic. That's, that's funny to think about, though. But there's probably a porn parody out there somewhere about the snap, I would imagine. Yeah, well, I remember in Spider-Man: Far From Home, Aunt May had made had a line where she said, "When I snapped back, I was in my old apartment, but the couple that was living there was like, what the hell's going on?'" Yeah, so, yeah, it's crazy, dude. But yeah, so Monica comes back. She uh, learns her mom's died. She she goes back to Sword. Um, three weeks later, she goes back to work, and uh, she meets the new director, Tyler Hayward. Which I'm I'm a little suspicious about this guy. If I if I can be honest with you, something you think so? Something just seems I don't know. Maybe I'm looking too much into it, but something just seems a little off about him. I don't know. Mm. But, uh, yeah. He seems very one-dimensional to me as far as, I don't know, man. There's not a lot of range going on. Maybe that's how he's supposed to be played. But he's definitely yeah, kind of dry and very just, yeah, I'm, I'm suspicious. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I'm being too 
Well, some people are Quirky saying, is he a the... scroll? Is he one of the bad guys? Like, did he, you know, Ooh, who, who knows what this scroll guy Maybe. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You never know. Hmm. So then he kind of walks her through everything. Um, they talk about astronaut stuff, which I thought might be a cool nod to Fantastic Four, maybe. Who knows? Um, and then he pretty much sends her to New Jersey to help with a missing person case from Mr. Jimmy Woo. Yeah, because she's grounded, dude. <laughs> yeah. From her mom's own rules. That's Oof. crazy. That is cool. I love it. Yeah, but she goes to Westview, which we now know is a real place because there's obviously highway signs to Westview and stuff like mm -hmm. that. And uh, she meets up with Jimmy Woo, uh, one of my favorite characters from Ant-Man and the Wasp. Woo. Yeah, and uh, he has since learned magic because I know he was trying to learn it in Ant-Man <laughs> and the Wasp. I love how they do. I love his character, like dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. dude. Like, the character development was just so perfect. Like, I love how they tie all those things together. So uh, it was really great to see him back. I really liked him. And Darcy's back. And Darcy's back. Um, I thought it was this felt like okay, Wanda and Vision, you know, being in the first two episodes or the first three episodes, I thought was great. But with all of these other characters coming back and just the storyline mm -hmm. itself, it this kind of felt like okay, now we're back in the MCU. Like now we're back, you know, it just felt more MCU-ish to me. So it was it was just a great kind of like welcome back moment or episode. Yeah, we're we're definitely getting there. Um, mm -hmm. and I've, and I've been fine yeah, with are. the, I'm still fine with the pace of the show. Yeah, no, is, I don't have any issues with it. So I'm, I'm still super, super happy with it. I, I mean, I, I thought I had a suspicion that a lot more would have been revealed during episode four, but I'm still yeah. super, super, super happy. So, yeah, I, I wanted more too, but at the same time, I'm kind of cool with them slowly teasing us, but I thought it was kind of cool too, because this whole episode Jimmy and Darcy and everybody else, they're basically us. Like mm -hmm. we're living vicariously through them. Like what the fuck's going on? Shit. I don't know. You know, yeah. she asked Jimmy at one point, what is this? He's like, I don't know. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I, who knows? Yeah. So I mean, it's, it's kind of cool. We're getting to learn as they learn. You know what I mean? So what do you, like so what that. do you, so what do you think's going on? I mean, what do you, I said, I was right about sword being, the ones that were trying to get in there, but originally I thought they were trying to get to Wanda, but now they were trying to get to Monica. Yeah. So that's what I was saying. I was right about sword, but uh, man, I'm kind of, I'm kind of leaning on the lines now that I don't think me personally, like I don't think Mephisto is going to be in this show. I don't, I don't either. I don't think a villain like him. I don't think they're going to shoehorn in at the last minute in this series. Like, I think you need to, you need to build up to something like him. He's too big of a villain to like. Agreed, and they're not, otherwise they're going to fuck it up like, like Ultron, fan, like they did with Ultron or Fantastic Four. You know, I mean, they they have an opportunity to really. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they need to start doing that anyway. Having some origin stories for these villains, just so you can get really more attached. And I mean, dude, they yeah. they they. I mean, they nursed Thanos for what almost ten years. Yeah, they you know? did. So now, granted, he still never got his full on thing but like i mean not not to i'm sorry if i'm kind of bobbing and weaving but if they ever they will not if when but when they when they bring dr doom in i hope they have i hope he has his own fucking movie I hope he has I hope he has his own couple of movies because that dude is so complex and so interesting you know yeah they I can't mean, fuck up doom he's doing is. everything ultimately because he wants to save his mom's soul yeah that's his that's his ultimate motivation so it's like that's that's pretty powerful, you know? Yeah, I just, I don't know, man. I, I've been really thinking about it more. And I think, I do think, I don't think, I'm not on the Mephisto train anymore. I'm not. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, th I mean, I think it's, it's Wanda's has, has created this whole situation that she, and she's, it's very unstable. And I think the reason she doesn't want to be disturbed. <clears throat> right. And I think the reason that Agnes hasn't been around or hasn't been able to is because, I mean, let's, let's, let's look, look in the past, you know, Wanda's, who's, who's been around Wanda, you know? over the past years that she's been in the MCU, right? Strange has been there and he would definitely pick up on some weird shit. Right. Mm -hmm. um, but I mean, or Wanda has been in more control, but like, like you said, you know, it's only been a couple of weeks after, after the snap. So she doesn't have her, she has no family. She has, you know, she lost the love right. of her life twice. Right. Um, I mean, she she lost it, dude, and and I think maybe maybe it's like a, a a Jedi thing where she let out this 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 magical, you know, cry for help or just a scream, and maybe maybe Agnes just sensed it. You know, she sensed a presence in the magic and was like, oh fuck, 
something bad is going on. I mean, obviously if there's like a, you know, a quote unquote magical grid or whatever, whoever else is, or, our, you know, magical entities would, would pick up on the fact that there's some shit going on in New Jersey in Westview. Yeah. yeah. We got to see what the fuck's going on. We got to get there. Cause it's unstable. <clears throat> it's probably growing or who knows what the fuck's going on because according, you know, if it goes the way that people are suspect, then, you know, Scarlet, Witch is supposed to be one of the most powerful people in the MCU. So, <clears throat> I mean, I think definitely think Agnes is there as a, once again, like, like I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much staying, staying in my, my ground as far as my thought process. I'm where the, where this series is going. Um, there's still an opportunity at the end towards the, I mean, we're already halfway through just about just what nine episodes. I think there's nine episodes. Yeah. And yeah. we're on episode four. So, there's still time to maybe introduce some big name at the end with like a little cliffhanger to make you watch another show or be excited about something. I mean, which yeah. I think will be strange. Dr. Strange that is. Um, yeah, but I don't, yeah, I don't I th- know. I Mephisto's think it'll show there. Too. Mephisto's probably has something to do. It's it, what for, for a uh, strange two, they're thinking what nightmare is going to be the baddie. Yeah. Is that right? I think so. That's what they're saying. Yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, I see. Just the, the more I thought about it, the more I've just been kind of ruling out the Mephisto shit because I just think it's it's too big of a it's too big of a villain to mm-hmm. to just nonchalantly you know, throw in there at the end. Yeah, and I something. think it would take away from you know Wanda a little bit. Yeah, because yeah. I would kind of like to see this all be Wanda actually. Um, as easy as it is, like okay, it's it's Wanda. Obviously, I guess there's still a way they could show us just how bad it is and how bad it will get, you know, like, Oh mm-hmm. fuck dude. I'm curious you know. about one thing. I mean, anything that enters mm-hmm. into, we'll call it the Wanda bubble, if you will, mm-hmm. anything that enters like the helicopter, uh, the, 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 the sword, the sword person in the suit turns to the beekeeper, you know, anybody that goes in there, their, their, their clothes change everything. But whenever she kicked um, Rambo out, Rambo was still wearing that wardrobe from yeah. the Brady Bunch timeline whatever so how does that work you're asking the wrong guy brother i don't know <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, I, mean, I don't know I, is that is that a i'm just making sure what didn't miss on something because i was like wait a minute how's she still wearing the same stuff that means that does that mean wanda's getting even that much more powerful that her powers can kind of kind of go beyond the bubble yeah to maintain yeah. to maintain that oh but you know what i mean wanda didn't know who she was though yeah, well, so I know she she's never met her before, so right. But she wasn't part of. Hmm. Well, it falls in line with the cops. Like the cops were outside, and they said they have no idea what Westview is. Good point. Good point. So Good I point. think that um, anybody associated with it or around it doesn't know. But since Monica and Jimmy were such outsiders from faraway states and shit, they have awareness of it. And I guess or, that's why when she went in, um, Wanda was like, "Wait, who the fuck are you?" You're not and in it, my. Uh, I didn't put you here. Yeah, and maybe and maybe people who are more intellectually acute, if you will, are able to yeah. are not as yeah. susceptible to these suggestions or whatnot. You know, maybe because yeah, she's no, an agent, you. and you know. But yeah, man, I don't know, man. It's uh, that's cool. I'm glad they explained the helicopter. That was kind of neat. Yeah, and the beekeeper. Although we didn't see what happened to him when she rewound. <clears throat> like, did he get thrown back out? Did he fucking die? Like I don't know, man. It's kind of creepy to think about, but yeah, it was it was yeah. great seeing it was great seeing Darcy back. She's she's a doctor now, so she's made some progress since we last saw her in Thor two, and uh, I thought her and Jimmy had really good chemistry. It just, I just I love the older kind of supporting characters coming yeah. back to have bigger parts in this. It was it was really great to see. It was good to see her, but I still she wasn't as fun as she was as in the Thor stuff. Yeah, it almost, I mean, seemed, it almost seemed a little bit. I don't want to critique it. It was still fun, but she was yeah, she was yeah. she was kind of borderline and annoying me a little bit. Well, she's got to make up for lost time. Maybe she'll calm down in the next one, <laughs> right? It's been knows, what, eight, seven, eight years since Thor two. So yeah, she's she's got know, some man. making up to do. It's but, been a uh, while. I was going to talk about something that I saw on a trailer, but I don't want to say it because I don't know if you've seen the trailer or not, and I don't want to well, link it to me. Anything? Link it to me. What is it? What what, what what trailer? It's one of the promos to Wandavision they released. You know what? We'll watch it together, and I'll put it up on the screen too. We can watch yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's do that. That'll be fun.
We now have first person intel from inside the Westview anomaly. What are we looking at here? Is it an alternate reality, time travel? It's a sitcom. Starring two Avengers? It's a working theory. Life moves fast out in the suburbs. I think something's wrong here. Yeah. Should we just take it from the top? Wanda, Wanda. Yeah, hold on. I don't on. know how any of this started. What is outside of Westview? Right here. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not sure what that's about. It's probably just a case of the Mondays. <laughs> Am I right? Goddamn. I yeah, like it. Yeah, so that was the big <coughs> thing. Vision is at the barrier. Like, mm -hmm. what the fuck, dude? And it looks like he collapsed when he walked out. Yeah, he gets out. So I'm thinking if he gets out of the barrier. He's no, he's done so whatever is on him like spell or whatever keeping him alive i don't i think it's gone so i'm agreed yeah you see, his, you see his retro uh costume he had on yeah i thought that was great was i saw that in a previous promo but uh yeah that's kind of what threw me off man like holy shit so eventually vision makes his way to the barrier like dude well yeah he's because he's being yeah he's, he's he's questioning her remember and she's had to like go backwards like a couple of times with him already and then how though he he's not alive. He shouldn't have a conscience to question her. You know, like I don't get it. Constructs. That's a good. That's I mean, a good I mean, point. He he is AI, so maybe he's getting smarter and more aware. I mean, if she's truly being true to it, wants to make it a vision as realistic as possible, maybe she made him too realistic, and he's got questions. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, we, maybe. We, I mean, maybe. We, we we don't know the we don't know her the range of her or the limit of her powers, you know? So yeah. And that's another that thing good, though. Woo! that does. That's another thing Damn. though, is, you know, I guess this is ultimately going to tap into her power and it's probably going to freak her the fuck out. Like she didn't probably didn't think she was as strong, you know, when she does snap and yeah, I don't know, man, there's a lot of shit brewing in her. That's ready to just, Oh yeah. Did you close out your window for the chat, by the way? Yeah. So, so you're not recording it. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're good. Any feature, huh? Yeah, dude. I didn't know about that. <laughs> but uh, so so the end, man. Did did you did you get a little jump scare from that dead vision shot or? No, no. I mean, I, I thought it was cool. Um, I thought it was great, man. It was fucking trippy as shit. Dude. They look cool, and so yeah, it kind of yeah. begs a question: Is he just a floating corpse walking around, or is she like reanimating him? No, she 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 manifested him. She manifests. I, I don't. What you, so you're implying that she has the actual corpse from when Thanos took the the Mind Stone out of his fucking head? I think so because, in a way, I mean, either that or she found his corpse and did something with somebody, yeah. maybe a dark magic person, to bring him back to life. Maybe under some certain terms. I don't know because mm -hmm. he walks to the barrier and gets out. I mean, yeah, I, if he was under Wanda's control. He wouldn't do that. I don't think. Right, but I mean, remember though. I mean, like I just said, he she made him so realistic that his AI is kicking in and he's getting inquisitive. He wants to, he yeah, wants maybe. to learn. Yeah, and he's like, you know, she can only back him. She, it, it seems like she can only back him or back up time, whatever, when they're in proximity, when they're face to face. Because when he can right. stop doing his own shit, she's not really influencing. It doesn't seem. Yeah. So maybe it's so. just like you know, I don't know, man. Yeah, the whole vision thing is a big mystery still, but uh, I mm. feel like we're getting just a little bit closer. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, for sure. Definitely. I mean, it's progress. I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah. But overall, I mean, man, this is a... Oh, go ahead. Oh, I, oh, no, I'm just saying that I think after after looking at that uh, promo that you shared with me, it just, it just reaffirms my my my, uh, my thoughts from a... You know, yeah. From, from pretty yeah. much from the beginning, what I was thinking. Not trying to be that guy. But I, no, I, no, no. I, feel, I mean, I'm it's, it's pretty good about it. So no, it's understandable, dude. I mean, like I said, I've even I've reversed course. You know, at first I thought Mephisto. I've completely thrown Mephisto out of the equation. I I don't think at all he has anything to do with this. Honestly, uh, I think it's too. I don't know, man. I just feel like that's it's too complicated to do. Like it's it's like mm -hmm. with, and plus I don't think Disney would 
not saying there's Disney's already like so much substance here, and they're and it's they got well, not only that, on. dude, like you know, they they didn't bother to do anything with Lady Death and Mephisto and Infinity War. I don't, I just think that's something they probably wouldn't touch on. Yeah. Maybe I don't know, but but also the main thing is it's just I think it's too much and too convoluted to throw Agreed. Mephisto in the mix. It's too many layers. You don't need it. It's, it's too much. Yeah. Too much of spice. Yeah, and, and like too I said earlier, I think it, I think if you brought him in, it would take away from Wanda's, mm-hmm. you know, abilities and shit. Like I see what it, they're doing. If if yeah. it's just Wanda, this is incredible for her. You yeah, know? I see. It's just being Wanda, and then you know, Sword is obviously trying to rein her in, but they're going to realize that they, that they're not strong enough, so they have to work. They have to find one of the other Avengers or, or some other superhero. Yeah. To help yeah. out, and they'll manage to get a hold of Strange somehow, and maybe he's just at the end finds a way to make it all better. Fuck, I don't know. I mean, you know, what's funny is someone said know. on you someone said on YouTube that this takes place three weeks after Endgame, mm-hmm. and Spider Man Far From Home takes place the next summer, mm-hmm. right? So, assuming this will take place before Doctor Strange, and this might lead on for a while, and uh, in Spider Man Two when he's trying to give out some alternatives, he says, what about Dr. Strange? They say he's unavailable. Is yeah. this all this shit? Why he's unavailable could be kind of funny. Yeah. I don't know if that was an intentional thing, but it, it, it was just kind of like, Oh shit. That's probably it, why he's not available. It, I mean, well, strange is doing, he'll, he'll do his own shit anyway. I mean, oh, he, yeah. doesn't, he doesn't answer to anybody. So yeah. Um, I feel like it'll be a long arc. Cause it's supposed to be like a three, three type thing. Like one division will lead into, uh, Spider-Man three, they said, and then that'll lead into Doctor Strange, like a a three part thing with the multiverse or something, and Doctor Strange will wrap it all up or some shit. Who knows? I, I have a hundred percent faith in these guys, so I'm just mm-hmm. I'm just excited that once again I'm excited that they're not sticking to canon, that they're just kind of using yeah. that as a, as source material, and because uh, I mean yeah, I mean I'm fine that they didn't have Lady Death. Yeah, you know, we already talked about that, but I'm fine that they didn't go that route. I thought that the, yeah, the Thanos yeah. journey was a lot more interesting how the MCU did it as opposed to Canon. So yeah, the comics is one thing, but the movies, it just would have made Thanos look like a little bitch. Honestly, I liked, yeah. uh, yeah, yeah I, I liked what they did in the movies, but, um, yeah. And, 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 uh, someone said that when Monica was in the sitcom, it could have been like time travel. Maybe I'm like, no, because she looks exactly the same, the same age and shit. It's real. She was really in there, I think. Mm-hmm. But, um, it kind of makes me wonder, like, was she aware of this shit going on? Was she instantly put under the spell? Because it looked like she fought back a couple of times. Like, you know, like, wait, what's going on? What's going on? So, yeah, yeah, it's, it's I think, crazy, I think she man. was, she was, she definitely was fighting back and she's and she, like, and she's just a mentally stronger person. And than the, you know, than, than most people that are, than the townsfolk that are already there, because think about it, the townsfolk already have, you know, the things that they're used to somewhat granted it's aged and gone back in time a lot, but they're still like, you know, but but yeah. yeah, Monica Rambo, she's she's brand new to there, so she should, there's less things to, I guess, keep her occupied, if you will. You know, there's yeah, just more opportunity yeah. for her to like to be like, wait a minute, this isn't right, you know. Yeah, so, and also yeah, man, interesting w- when she had her altercation with Scarlet Witch and she gets thrown out, is that where she maybe gets her powers because she's supposed to become Spectrum at some point, or at least in the comics. I don't know if they're going to go that route in the MCU, but mm-hmm. something to think about, like. Well, oh, shit, maybe dude, she that, got that, a little powers. Who knows? That would have fucking killed a regular human being. Yeah. So yeah. I mean, maybe she, she got knocked the through powers. the house, through a fence, through some other bullshit, and yeah. I mean, she'd at least have some a broken back or something. I, you, Not you, to you, mention when she came out of the bubble, she dropped another <sighs> fifty feet, you know, and rolled around. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, but I mean, we can, it's a movie, or it's not a movie, but it's a show. Yeah. But I mean. Uh, you got to suspend something. your disbelief a bit, <laughs> right? So, which Bro, so who's, who's going to come to the rescue? You think you think it's going to be strange? Yeah, yeah. Or is it going to be? Or is Agnes going to morph into a, 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 another powerful Scarlet Witch and save the day? I don't know, but I'm still on the fence about Agnes because there's a shot in another trailer where Vision like touches her head, and she kind of like comes to, and she's like, "Wait, am I dead?" Hmm. So I I don't know. I guess you didn't see that promo either. No, I haven't seen any of the promos. I'll look them up. I kind of want to see what happens with all of the uh, residents because we saw 
all the residents are real people that were in Westview with all of yeah. their, they had all their IDs. Um, they're all actors. I guess they're being forced or coerced to do this. Um, whether they're under a spell and they don't know they're doing it or they're forced to play along against their will. Um, it's, it's kind of terrifying to think about, you know, if it's the latter, like, are they, like, are they aware that Wanda's doing this to them and they have to play along or they're going to get killed or something? It's, it's, hey, what uh, about Dottie? What is, what yeah, is I don't know. Her? I'm still on the fence about her. I don't know. I'm not sure. They didn't say anything about her in this episode. There's something about her though. Yeah. They, they didn't show her picture or anything. So I don't know. Agnes had her picture. She just didn't have an ID. Dottie didn't have anything. So I don't, yeah. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll see. We'll see, man. But, uh, I just, honestly. I just know that sword has nothing. Oh, yeah, as no. far as what we've seen, <laughs> this, this version of sword in the MCU has, has nothing as of yet to fuck with Scarlet Witch. So yeah, we'll I, I think at some point, you know, they'll, Wanda will come uh, become aware of sword and, you know, maybe they'll do like a standoff type thing, you know, and she'll, they'll be trying to get through to her and she won't be letting up or something like that. I think it's going to come to a head sword versus Wanda. Agreed. And she's going to destroy him. And that's when it's, they'll be like, fuck, we need somebody else. Um, yeah. Who knows? Yeah. We'll see. I think so too, man. Well, cool. Let's, uh, let's wrap it up, man, and get out of here. I guess right, we'll see you, uh, I guess we'll, uh, we'll do this again next week. Hell yeah. Catch it up. Yeah. All right, y'all. Be sure to follow the podcast on Twitter and Instagram at The Indie Rundown and like our Facebook page, The Indie Rundown Podcast.